Hi guys, today we are solving third maze problem of Geeks for Geeks problem of today. The problem's name is Maximum Intervals Overlap. This problem is similar to Merge Intervals, but not very similar, just on the same track. Let's read the problem statement. Consider a big party where n guests come to it and a log register of guests entry and exit time was maintained. Find the minimum time at which there were maximum guests at the party. Note that entries in the register are not in any order. So the input is uh, given as five, which means the uh, number of guests are present five, and is equals to five. And the entry and exit logs are given such that if the first guest, guest enters at one, he leaves at four. If, he, if the second guest enters at two, he leaves at five. The third guest enters at 10, leaves at 12. The fourth guest enters at five and leaves at nine. The fifth guest enters at five, leaves at 12, which means we have to find that at what time maximum number of guests were present. As from these two, we can see that uh, two, four and five are present at five, the duration five. So that is what we are going to return. The maximum number of guests, that is three, two, four and five at the time five. And similarly, we have the second example. So let's try to code this. We are going to, um, also one more thing, the time complexity is expected n log n. So whenever they have given n log n, which means they're expecting us to sort something. That is not always the case, but that is mostly the case. We're going to sort entry and we are also going to sort exit now we will create variables in is equals to one which means in is the number of guests that are present at that particular time guests is equals to one which means a uh, maximum number of guests. Here we are storing maximum number of guests present at that particular time. Max is the duration, time duration at which they are present. That we are initializing it as zero. Now we'll create variables for looping through. We we'll take i and j. We are starting i from one as we have already considered the first guest in the maximum inside and maximum number of guests is one that means the first is already in so now we will loop through and then j is less than n now uh, we will uh, check if entry of i is less than equal to exit dot j which means the guest is still present inside the party. So what we're going to do is number of guests will increase and we'll check if in is greater than guests as guests here is the maximum number of guests present at that particular time. So now what we're going to do is uh, change guests as in as we need to store the maximum number of guests here and we will change max is equals to entry of i. Now we will increase i. If this is not the case, then we move on to the else part where we are going to decrease the number of guests, which means the guest left, and we're going to increase j. So that is it for the loop. And what we have to return is an array. New int. What we have to return is maximum number of guests, that is, we have stored in guests, and the time. So let's try to submit it. Uh, the compiler of GFG is a bit slow. So if your time complexity is showing this much, which means that the time complexity in real is actually lesser than this. 
So a solution is accepted and this is the sum and that was the explanation. I'll see you again tomorrow. Thank you.